I'll just show you the closer look guys. So, ito yung itsura ng ating gulong na solid. Hindi na kailangan ito ng hangin kasi nga buong-buo nga siya solid na talaga siya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Marky again, your vlogger friend. Today, we're gonna talk a little about bikes. I got a road bike guys and uh, I do cycling on my free time. Just another newfound leisure activity, especially this pandemic. This one's a good thing to do. So, bumili ako ng solid tire guys. Pagka flat ng gulong talaga ng road bike ko has always been the problem. Nag tire liner na kami para hindi siya ma para hindi siya mabutas. Kaso nabubutas pa rin siya kasi pag dadalan kami sa mga rocky roads or anything na may bump, parang nabipitpit niya yung ano, yung interior niya tapos nabubutas. Kaya bumili ako ng solid na gulong na para ma-eliminate natin yung problem na yun. Tapos ito pala, nabili ko ng 440 something tapos plus 50 na shipping fee. So, ikabit na natin guys. Let's go! <laughs> so, ito yung bike ko guys. It's a Pro Max road bike. I got it uh, for 11,000 sa Maynila ko to be nilin. Tapos inuwi na lang dito sa province. Ito talaga yung pinaka problem. Tapos it causes delay sa mga lakaran namin kaya we'll eliminate that and so I'm sharing this kasi it's a common problem baka makatulong dun sa inyo so tara, ayusin natin we'll see how it's uh, installed Wala pa kaming tools guys, so we're just gonna use the lowong spoon. So, we'll see how it's gonna do the trick. I'll just show you the closer look guys. So, ito yung itsura ng ating gulong na solid. Hindi na kailangan ito ng hangin kasi nga buong-buo nga siya solid na talaga siya. Tapos, itong side na ito yung kakapit dun sa uh, rim natin. Biglang umulan guys. Ayan na. So yeah, I uh, will show you how it's installed. My friend is helping me. So if you can see guys, yung ididikit pa lang siya, talagang kapit na kapit na siya dito sa part na ito. If you can see. Ayan, parang talagang hulmang hulma talaga siya dun. Which is nice. So I'll I'll uh, put the link on the description para at least may reference kayo if magustuhan niyo to. I also chose the color blue kasi I wanted a new look on my uh, bike of course to match the uh, kind of yeah. 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 Medyo mahirap sa guys. Tinanggal pala muna namin guys Kasi Masyado siyang masikip Kaya i-stretch namin Kaso ayaw din guys Paano kaya? Hey guys, dahil hindi naman kinaya, nagtawag kami ang tulong. We needed hands. Kasi hindi naman, hindi kaya ng isa. Hindi nga namin kaya dalawa. Or we just don't know what tools we need to use to successfully install this one. Layo. Kapal pa ba? Ay, parang nasa-stretch nga siya from ano, the bottom of the, <laughs> the sea. 
Parang doon po na yung siya. Stretch. Lakas kasi ng Andre yun. Giant yun. Ay, grabe na. May progress. So it's finally done guys If you can see Mas paganda na siya It gave a new look To my road bike This one So just a few things guys, I think what you would sacrifice is yung uh, matantad talaga siya. Unlike yung tire talaga na normal, yung may hangin, nagbabound siya. Or at least uh, babawasan niya yung pakiramdam mo sa tantad. Ganun. And pag nasa road ka na rin, medyo mabilis nga siya mag-stop. Pag hindi ka na nagpipedal, nagsistop talaga siya. Hindi siya kagaya ng air na dumidiretso pa. Parang it helps the speed as well, yung may air. Pero subtle lang naman siya. Hindi ko na nga actually naramdaman masyado. Hindi lang sinabi sa akin ng kaibigan kong naka-experience na rin ito. Parang expert kasi yung kaibigan ko na yun. Well, I guess that's just how life is. You sacrifice something just to get something maybe a little bit better. At least it's something I can tolerate naman yung pagtad. Okay lang yun. Kasi pwede naman tayo bumili ng foam. So that's it for this vlog guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And see you on the roads.